Hello everyone, this is uh, a group presentation by Group 19, Computer Science Project. We did a specific part of the work and we all did something to make this possible. Is of James Mayanja, Timura Zipias, Joshua Mwesugwa, Hola Sander Enoch. The title of the project is Design of a Diagnostic Tool to detect respiratory infections using chest x-ray images yeah, is very important worldwide and we plan to use chest x-ray image analysis in order to detect respiratory diseases research th this research suggests a cost a cost effective diagnostic tool that will aid healthcare workers such as doctors through fast analysis has been majorly threatened by the emerging infectious diseases, many of which are respiratory related. According to the World Health Organization, the estimates of around 450 million cases of pneumonia are recorded every year. About 4 million people die from these illnesses and accounting to 7% of the mortality rate of around 57 million people. Uh, globally, approximately 170,000 confirmed cases of coronavirus were recorded in 2019. And <clears throat> around 7,000 deaths were recorded in over 150 countries. So diagnosis is very important in order to make sure that the world is a safe place for everyone. Therefore, uh, chest x-ray imagery is one of the commonly accessible radio, radiology, anime, radiology examinations for the, screen, for the screening and diagnosis of many lung diseases. And it is commonly used in diagnosis due to its easy accessibility and low cost. So we plan to use x-ray images as part of our methodology in order to achieve this. Basically, there is a necessity to develop an automated method for the computer-aided diagnosis of respiratory diseases based on use an AI-based diagnosis approach using convolution neural networks, which are a type of neural networks, artificial neural networks, to diagnose these infections automatically using the X-ray images. On the other hand, is an infection that causes inflammation in the lungs and it is caused by viruses. Uh, the infection invades the lungs and causes them to swell, blocking the flow of oxygen. In 2014, the Center for Disease Control, CDC, ranked pneumonia combined with flu as the eighth leading cause of death in the U.S. And when you come to Uganda, you find out that you have 1.6 million deaths per year in the children who are under five years dying from viral pneumonia. Hence, it is from this perspective that we think designing an automated framework that can test these diseases will be part of the solution because you can't solve something that you cannot test. Uh, our research objectives uh, include the fact that since coronavirus detection at an early age plays a very vital role in the control of COVID-19, it is uh, recent research shows that PCR tests have have also been <coughs> have also been part of the methods that were applied in viral pneumonia detection and diagnosis, and PCR tests are really expensive. Part of our research shows that currently a PCR test costs seventy thousand, and the, the 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 test takes around two hours to get the results. So we are trying to make sure that our research will try to reduce this time factor and then it will also reduce the cost so that people can be able to get the test in a very short time and then get very accurate tests. Then to also, to also alleviate the inefficiency and scarcity of these tests because you will find out that most of the times you need test kits and test kits are scarce. So we want to try to reduce on this inefficiency. Research objectives. Our objectives are to detect COVID-19 and viral pneumonia using chest x-ray images. 
to develop a multi-classification deep convolution neural network model for automatic detection and early diagnosis of patients with COVID-19, coronavirus, and viral pneumonia. I will want to carry out detailed experimental analysis and performance evaluation of the model in terms of confusion matrix, accuracy, sensitivity, specificity, recall, <coughs> area under the curve, ROC curves, and F1 score. We also want to integrate the model as part of our research into a tool that can be outsourced and deployed out there for medical personnel and then to test to probably carry out alpha beta tests for for diagnosis and prepare the model for for real outsourcing and giving it out there to the public <clears throat> the scope the project attempts to detect respiratory diseases like viral pneumonia and covid 19 and also determine the health people that is you train the model with all those classes plus also tra train it what healthy people look like or what healthy x-ray images of normal people look like a secondary source of, of data sets like uh, cargo will be used and that's where we shall be getting most of our data for training the model methodology it's improved in recent years and has been playing a tremendous role in image classification uh, Convolutional networks have been performing well in detecting many many diseases including coronary attack diseases malaria etc initially the data set will be needed for training and validating the diagnosis model for training and validating the model's data collection of normal and infected x-ray images will be carried out more specifically they will be acquired from cargo and public github repositories and then uh, after we acquire the data, we shall pass it through a pipeline of processes that is data resizing, data shuffling, data normalization, data augmentation, and this is all to maintain uniformity. The processed data will be then labeled, <coughs> and then we shall divide it into train and validate data sets. And then this is what we will pass through the convolution neural network in order to train and then be able to be evaluated at a later stage. Such attempts to develop a diagnosis tool for respiratory infections, COVID-19, and viral pneumonia as part of an automatic detection framework, a well-labeled process data set for medical clinical image analysis shall be one of the outcomes of our research. And then this can be used probably by more researchers for further research in the same field. Uh, related works. <clears throat> uh, machine learning techniques have also been used to diagnose other lung diseases like tuberculosis and methods that support these and methods that have been used for these were vector machine methods, logistic regression, bias classifiers. <clears throat> another, research, another research proposed extracting possibly representing COVID-19 blockers from X-ray images with deep learning approach in image data. So a lot of people have tried to do this and they have tried to take different approaches. And we, in our approach, we plan to take the approach of using neural networks. And uh, that brings an end to our presentation. Thank you very much.